Irish Shaders. It is the best way to get shaders in Minecraft. In this video, we're going to show you exactly how to download and install Irish Shaders as well as shader packs and get shaders up and running using Iris in Minecraft 1.21.3. Let's jump into it. First things first, go to the second link in the description down below. That'll take you here. This is our in-depth guide on getting Irish Shaders on our website. We're also going to be going over everything in this video, though. On this page, go ahead and click Download Irish Shaders. You go to the official Irish Shaders download page where all you got to do is click on the Download Universal Jar button. And after a few seconds, Irish Shaders will begin downloading. You may need to keep or save this file right like we have to right here and it's 100% safe to do that. While Iris is downloading though, how to mess from our company Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below the breakdown .xyz sgh to start your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. You can easily add mods, plugins, and mod packs to your server and truly customize your server any way that you want. Plus there's expert live chat support there to help you out along the way. So stop struggling to host a Minecraft server and play Minecraft with your friends the easy way at the first link in the description down below the breakdown .xyz sgh SGH. Nevertheless, with Iris downloaded, we will need shader packs. Basically, Iris talks to Minecraft to allow shaders packs to work. What shaders packs are are similar to texture packs, and there are tons of different ones. We have a link in the description down below to some of our favorites, but the installation process is the same for every shader pack, no matter kind of where or how you get it. Let's go ahead and get BSL shaders here, as well as make up ultra fast shaders, and we will grab vanilla plus shaders, just to give a kind of wide range of different shader packs. For BSL shaders, once you're here, you want to go ahead and click on BSL shaders. And then go ahead and click on download and we can download this on Modrinth at the very very bottom here BSL shaders original Modrinth and Modrinth is a super popular place to get shader packs There are tons of them on this website But once you've found the one you want go ahead and click on versions here And then you want to download the 1.21.3 version or the newest version that's available in our case That's 1.21.1 but spoiler alert it's going to work in 1.21.3 What's actually crazy is versions like all the way down to 1.19 a lot of times can work with iris shader in Minecraft 1.21.3, so don't worry if it is an older shader pack. I'm going to go ahead and download this most recent one here. We'll need to keep or save it. Now, another popular place to get shader packs is, of course, CurseForge, which is where we're going to be getting Makeup Ultra Fast from. Go to Files here, and again, download the most recent version. In this case, it's going to be for 1.21.1, but those will work in 1.21.3. You may need to wait a few seconds for the download to begin like we do here, but that's okay. Once it's done, go ahead and click on Save, and the download will begin. Vanilla Plus is also on CurseForge here, and we can go to Files and see that we are downloading a 1.20 version. Will it work? Yes, it will, and that's why I wanted to use Vanilla Plus shaders, because even even though it's an older shader pack, not been updated for over a year, it still works flawlessly in 1.21.3. So go ahead and click the download button there, the three files, and click download file, and the download will begin. Now with everything downloaded, what we can do is go ahead and get Iris shaders installed. But we first would want to move everything to our desktop, just because it's easier to manage it all there. So that's going to be, of course, all of our shader packs and the Iris installer. So here is the Iris installer, and then we also have our shaders packs, BSL shaders, Makeup Ultra Fast, and Vanilla Plus. To install Iris, what we want to do is right click on it, click on open with, click Java, and click OK. But what if you don't have Java here? Or you do, you click OK, and it doesn't work. Well, you need Java 21. As a Minecraft 1.21, Java 21 is required, and it's linked in the description down below with an in-depth guide on how to get it. It goes over everything you need to know, including frequently asked questions and all that stuff. You may also need to run the jar fix, by the way, after you get Java 21. What the jar fix is going to do is take all the jar files on your computer, like Iris Installer, and link them back to Java, making them work happily together. First, though, get Java, then run the jar fix. Now we can go ahead and open up the Iris installer right click on it click on open with click java and click ok and the iris installer will open it's super easy from here all you've got to do is click on 1.21.3 make sure iris is selected and click install and now it's going to install iris shaders into minecraft alongside sodium sodium is a performance enhancing mod that iris requires this takes care of everything there by the way the only reason this wouldn't work is if minecraft or the minecraft launcher are open make sure both of those are closed and make sure you played minecraft 1.21.3 before just open it to the main menu and close out of it because it needs that game installation in order to work now we can go ahead and close out of this and delete the iris installer we can install though our shaders packs to do that we want to open up minecraft and play minecraft using the iris installation that's there let me show you what that looks like. If we go to installations up here at the top, we will be able to see there it is, Iris Sodium for 1.21.3. If you don't have that, click on modded, make sure it's checked here, and it will appear. We can go ahead and hit play on this. Hit play again because this is modded Minecraft, and we're just confirming that we're okay with that, which we are. And now Minecraft will open up with Iris installed for 1.21.3, and we can add our shaders packs and get shaders rocking and rolling. So here we are on the main menu. If we go to options and video settings, up here at the top we have shader packs. Once you click on that, you can actually drag and drop your shader packs directly in to the shader packs basically menu here and it will add them if for whatever reason it doesn't you can also 
also click open shader pack folder in the bottom left and then drag and drop them into this folder but as you can see they're already here because well we did that in game and it worked now all we've got to do to select shaders is make sure enabled is selected here then click on the shader pack you want and click apply minecraft will then get it ready and it's in game however before we go show you it's working i do want to mention shader pack settings in the bottom right these are super helpful when you have a shader pack selected we can actually go into the shader settings and see all the different stuff here for example the profile that we want to be playing for example we could do you know low if you have a low npc medium or high if you have a high npc you can also change different things like you know fog and different sort of like how lighting works for example if a shader pack is too yellow you can actually go in there and change some of the different stuff when it comes to lighting and make it a bit brighter things like that so really Really, really cool and something worth checking out but with that our savior pack is selected and we can jump in game we are obviously going to be using a simple game hosting server for that because that's the best way to play minecraft with your friends and then once we're in game shaders will instantly be active we can see that here with the shadows coming off of this the swaying grass right like so and the clouds look at that the beautiful clouds amazing stuff you can actually change shader packs in game as well it's kind of cool to be able to see the difference in shader packs if we go from here into options video settings and then shader packs we can switch from apparently makeup ultra fast was selected we switch to a bsl here it will go ahead and change over to bsl shaders and once we've done that it's very, very different. A lot brighter, for example. Less yellow light, but you've still got the swaying of the leaves. And if we run over here to this grass, that'll be swaying as well. Speaking of swaying, the last one we want to mention is Vanilla Plus Shaders. It's actually very close to vanilla, and one of the only things you can actually see with this shader pack is the swaying of the grass and things like that. But if we select Vanilla Plus here, click Apply, we will be able to see in-game that shading isn't that aggressive. I mean, it is there, but the grass does sway in the wind, as do leaves and things like that. So there you have it. That's how you can add shaders to Minecraft 1.21.3. If you've got any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. But enjoy your iris shaders. The best shaders mod in Minecraft by far. Super performant, super amazing. We'll see you in the next video. I am out. Peace.